What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Really excited for this one because in this video, I'm gonna show you a very quick trick that you can implement into your cold email campaigns today that's gonna 10X your deliverability. So if you've been suffering with low reply rate, with low meeting book rate, and if you're just not signing any clients from your cold email campaigns, it might be because you don't have this one little trick implemented into your cold email campaign. So I highly recommend you watch all the way through and all the way to the end. Now, if you like cold email content, I drop videos on cold email every single week. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and leave in the comments any ideas that you have for videos on cold email. Now, if you've never seen me before, my name is Tom Granger. I am the founder of Marketable and I help B2B businesses flood their sales calendar with qualified leads that directly match their ideal client profile that allows them to scale with ease. So let's jump into my laptop, guys, and I'm gonna show you this trick. Let's go. All right, guys, so we've dived on my computer, so let's dive into this doc as well. So I'm gonna show you how you can 10X your deliverability with this cold email trick. So you can get more opens, more replies, and more meetings while rapidly testing new angles and new copy variations. So what is the problem with cold email? Well. Cold email is by far the most efficient way to rapidly test new offers and scale any B2B business as you can directly message tens of thousands of decision makers every single week. But to do this, you need to send a mass amount of emails. That is the whole point of cold email. It's a mass form of communication to get in front of as many decision makers as possible. Now, email service providers like Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, they're not, they're not dumb or they have really, really strong spam filters. So if you're using the same script in your cold email campaigns over and over again, sending thousands of emails every single day with the same script, then you are massively increasing the chances that your message will be flagged as spam. And if you land in spam enough times, then you can blacklist your domain, potentially your IP as well, which is an absolute disaster. You do not want this at all. This is bad. So what is the solution? Well, you can either send less volume, splitting up your campaigns with different campaigns and different scripts in each one so you're not sending as many volumes or potentially giving up well none of these are an option when you know this little trick and this trick is called spin tax this really is the riz of cold emails now spin tax or liquid syntax is basically a fancy way of saying that you're spinning the syntax and syntax is basically the word the way that the words form a sentence and um, in your message itself so using spin tax in your email scripts ensures that every email you send is completely unique, allowing you to send the same messages to thousands of people with different combinations of words in each. So you're sending a completely different email, but the message is still the same because you're using words that have similar meanings. So let's have a look at the old way of writing cold email. So what you would say is something along the lines of, hey, first name, are you happy with your paid ads? The reason I ask is that recently we helped company at X achieve Y in just Z days. Is this of interest to you? So the only thing that's going to be different in this email is the first name. Now, people may have the same first names. Like, I don't know, you might have lots of Jameses, lots of Toms, whatever. So eventually you're going to end up sending the same cold email over and over again. So how do you get around this? Well, you utilize spin tax. So this is the new way of writing cold emails. So. And um, the email provider, so the email sending provider that I use is Instantly. And this is just how they trigger spin tax on their software platform. So look into it for if you're using Lemlist, if you're using Mailshake, look at what they use and how to utilize spin tax. But it's super important. So let me explain this to you right now. So every time that this email is sent, it's going to randomly choose one of the options that I've put here. So random, it's going to be either hi, hey, hello, random, I'm curious, just wondering, quick question, are you happy with your paid ads, ROAS, CPA, you know, random. I ask because the reason I ask is random, case study one, case study two, to case study three. So basically we're sending the same message and the same overall message over and over again, but with different words, different variations of words. And again, one of these might match up with one of these and that might match up with that. And every single one is creating a different combination of words that say the same thing, but just in a different way. And what this also allows you to do, as I mentioned earlier, is to rapidly test different angles and different copies. So for example, you may get lots of replies to paid ads, to ROAS, to CPA. And uh, so if you get more replies to one of these, then you can then focus down on just paid ads or focus down on just ROAS or expand that out into other options, you know, different things to do with ROAS because you know that this is what's bringing you in the best results. With your case studies as, as well, if you've got multiple different case studies, then by testing out multiple different case studies, you can see which one brings you in the best result. And if there's a clear winner from the data, 
then you know that you've got a winner and then you can just utilize that one in your cold email. Another little trick you can do as well is adding some sort of quotes at the bottom. So you could have as many quotes as you want. I've just put one, two, three here, but you could have 10 different quotes. And potentially, if you're reaching out to a certain niche, then make sure those quotes are relevant to that niche. If you're reaching out to lawyers, then get quotes from lawyers or about law or about law firms. And then just makes your email even more relevant to that person. So by utilizing spin tax in this email, we're able to create 78,600 different variations of this same email. So there are 76,000, sorry, 78,600 different variations of this email. So it just shows you how powerful Spintax is. And this is a really simplified version of Spintax. You can get really deep. You can spin your entire email and you can put 10 different options for every single, you know, every single brackets that you have open here as well and make it really, really optimized. So this is the exact trick that I use. So if you don't utilize spin tax today, go into your cold email campaigns and make sure that you get some involved in your campaigns because it's going to massively improve your deliverability. As usual, it's a pleasure making these videos for you guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you've got any ideas, hit the comment button and leave me a comment. And remember to subscribe because I'm dropping uh, videos on cold email, cold outreach, and everything to do with sales and marketing every single week. So yeah, looking forward to seeing you next one, guys. Um, and we'll speak soon. Thanks so much.